Hey everyone, David from Sunday Sounds here, and today we're going to do a walkthrough of Anthem Piano's Grand Rhapsody. This is an all new collection of piano presets for main stage users that makes use of the Grand Rhapsody sample library available from Waves. This is a really great piano sample library. It's very inexpensive, a little less expensive than the Giant, and maybe a little bit easier to install than some of the free piano sample libraries out there like Piano N162 that we use to create our original Anthem Piano's release. So we felt like it would be worth it to uh, take this awesome piano sample library and create some new presets for main stage users that are designed for modern worship music. So all you need to have installed is Main Stage 3's uh, built-in audio effects and plugins, and then the Grand Rhapsody Piano Sample Library from Waves to be able to utilize these presets. There's 10 presets included in this patch bundle, and like everything else on our website, they're all pre-mapped to our Sunday Keys Main Stage template. That means if you have Sunday Keys, you can just drag and drop these patches right into your patch list, and they'll be pre-mapped to the template, and you get on-the-fly control of important parameters. You can also open these patches in any other Main Stage 3 concert, and you can open the channel strip files included with your download if you'd like to use these in Logic Pro for recording projects. Now what I'd like to do is turn around, demonstrate really quickly how you can install this patch bundle, and I'll demonstrate all of the presets for you. Let's take a look. All right, folks, so really quickly, I'm gonna hop over to my web browser. This is the Grand Rhapsody Piano, currently $49, but uh, Waves changes their pricing all the time, so you can regu regularly get this piano for as little as $29. Uh, that's what I paid for it, and that's where the price seems to be most of the time. So if you just keep an eye, you can usually get it uh, for at least uh, no more than $50. Um, so you just download the, purchase the plugin here from Waves, um, and then you can see to play Grand Rhapsody, you must download at least one of these sample libraries. So you click that there, and there's a uh, two different versions of the samples that you can download. You can download the high definition download, which is a large library, 14 gigabytes, or the standard definition download, which is 6.2 gigs, which is still pretty big. Um, I opted for the standard definition uh, download for my purposes, and that's what I would recommend you do uh, for live usage. If you wanted to use this in the studio, you might go for the high definition download, but you just wanna make sure that you're not pushing your computer harder than you need to uh, with minimum benefit. Um, so once you've downloaded that, uh, that stuff, I'll go back here to Chrome real quick. Um, there's some installation instructions down here at the bottom of this page that just explain how you should archive or extract the samples using uh, archi Archive Utility, which is just a Mac function. Uh, it's all listed here, and then you might need to locate the samples when you first open up uh, the plugin. So make sure that after you install uh, the Grand Rhapsody plugin and the samples that you restart main stage. Um, and MainStage will, will notice that you have a new plugin installed when you restart, um, and then it'll be all good to go. So I've got my Sunday Keys template open here. I'm gonna go to Finder, and when you get your uh, Anthem Pianos Grand Rhapsody download, it's gonna come in a zip like this. It'll most likely download to your Downloads folder. You just double click on it to open it up, and you can save these downloads wherever you like. I recommend saving the Patches and Sets folder uh, to the Patches folder within Audio Music Apps and the channel strips folder here within the channel strip presets folder uh, within audio music apps as well. Then you can access all these files within the patch browser and the channel strip uh, browser within main stage. You might rename these folders with a little bit more of an identifier if you'd like uh, Anthem Grand patches, Anthem Grand channel strips, something like that. Uh, so the easiest way uh, to bring these into your main stage concert is just find one of the set files. I'm gonna grab this section one set and just click and drag right into main stage. And it will take it a little bit of time to load in at first. And if this is your first time opening up the Grand Rhapsody plugin, you might be prompted to locate the samples. And so you're just gonna point main stage to whatever folder you installed the SD or HD library into. And then uh, the Grand Rhapsody plugin will remember that in the future. All right, I'm gonna go full screen here. So now we have this set file and it has 10 patches that are ready to go. Now, one thing about the Grand Rhapsody Piano, it's a, it can be a pretty CPU intense plugin. We recommend uh, that you have at least eight gigabytes of RAM. You're definitely not gonna be able to run these patches with four gigabytes of RAM. And with eight gigabytes of RAM, you might still run into issues if you run a lower buffer setting uh, or if you have bigger concerts. So I, I would highly recommend uh, 
maybe trying to uh, to have 16 gigabytes of RAM on your system. And if you have eight gigabytes of RAM, you can give it a try. If it's not working for you, you can let us know and we'd happily offer you a refund. Uh, we wanna make sure that you're able to use these sounds if you pick them up. Now, the plugin here uh, lets you use up to three microphone voices uh, per uh, instance. I'll open it up here so you can see. You can have up to three mics loaded at once. And in all of these presets, we've opted to only use two. Uh, because when you get three going at once, it starts to push your computer really hard. Um, and we wanted to make sure that these were actually useful for live performance. And so we've only used two mic voices, and you get some really rich sounds with just the two. One last note about performance, and then I'll get through uh, talking, and I'll play through these presets. Uh, whenever you use these live, I recommend just scrolling through all of them uh, really quickly before you start playing. Um, just as you do that, your CPU meter up here at top will probably uh, go up the first time you scroll through for a second, and then it'll settle back down. Uh, when you do this, it just it seems to even out the load times for these patches in main stage, and they operate a lot uh, more smoothly when you change patches. And the other thing to note is I definitely don't recommend, if you're a Sunday Keys user, bringing in all four set files. Just pick which set section you want to load these sounds into. I usually put my pianos in section one. Um, but if you want them in, in another section, just load in one of the sets at a time. Otherwise, you're going to push your memory to the max and you'll start to run into issues. Okay, so I'm going to play through a few of these presets and then I'll demonstrate how you can layer them with Sunday Key sounds if you're a Sunday Keys user. Here we go.
All right, folks, so now that I've given you kind of a brief introduction to all 10 of the presets, I just want to talk a little bit about some of the modifier controls that you'll find across most of them. All these patches have a reverb control, if you open them up in Sunday keys, and they all have either a shape or a tone knob. And the tone knob is more of an EQ control. And the shape control is actually manipulating uh, the shape or the space within the Grand Rhapsody plugin. And so it's, it's a similar effect, but it, it also sort of thins out uh, the opposite direction that you're moving. So as you're moving to the right, you're getting brighter, uh, sharper, uh, with more bite and cut. And as you go to the left, counterclockwise, um, then you're getting boomier, um, more bass heavy, and more warmth. And so it, they're both distinct effects, the, the tone versus the shape control. So there's uh, presets in here that have both. So when you're all the way clockwise here, uh, you lose a lot of the bottom end, which can be really nice if you're playing a lead part and you just want to cut through the mix. That's going to cut without taking up a bunch of space or getting muddy. And down on the low end, is this nice sort of moody, depressed sounding uh, grand. And so you've got options there. Uh, there's different flavors to the reverb. Some are heavily modulated and some are more natural. And then most of these also have an octave control. You've got effects like compression, uh, delay, and then you can also bring in or out some of the noise samples that are included. So there's all sorts of different sounds you can get. And then there's also different levels of closeness. So you've got this close grand, which is really in your face. And then this front grand, which is it's really like you're sitting right in front of it. It sounds like you're the one playing it to you. But then you've got other sounds that are really far away. Uh, And then this one has a lot of sympathetic resonance. So lots of harmonic frequencies in the sustain. So there's all sorts of different sounds in here. I tried to really uh, make use of the, all the different mic positions within the plugin um, and some really great uh, audio effects processing to give you some interesting piano sounds. So lastly, uh, like all the other patch bundles on our website, it's pre-mapped to Sunday keys. So you can really easily combine these sounds with any of the sounds in Sunday Keys or any other patches that you've um, brought into Sunday Keys. So just grab a patch that you want. Let's say we wanted to do, use this peaceful grand and then highlight a patch from another section. Let's say that we want to combine it with this strong pad from section two. Click on both patches while holding command. Then go to the settings cog in your patch list. Choose a new patch from selected patches. And the modular functionality of Sunday Keys means that's all you have to do to create a new layered patch. All right, folks, thanks for checking out this demo and walkthrough video. I hope that you're excited about these sounds and that you'll make them a part of your patch library. Like I said at the beginning of the video, these, this is a really interesting piano sample library that I really think deserves its own space in your palette of piano sounds that you choose from. Um, so if you have any questions about this patch bundle, feel free to let us know using the contact form on our website. Thanks for your time and attention watching this video, and have a great day.